What's up YouTube and welcome to the Anabolic Outpost. And as evident in my videos, I have many recipes that I've acquired throughout the years. And there are very few that I have in my vault that I would actually consider to be an A+. But fortunately for you, it's one of those A+, recipes that I am presenting to you today. Giving you the recipe for my Anabolic Banana Bread. I did have an Anabolic Pumpkin Bread video that I posted a few months back. And while I believe that one to be quite delicious as well, I believe this is the best bread recipe that I have of any of the ones that I've made. That's enough of me hyping it out, you're just going to have to try it yourself just to see how good this recipe is. It's very high in protein and also great in many instances. This is typically known as a breakfast food, but it works great as a snack or dessert as well. I eat it at many different times throughout the day, and it's hard not to when you open your fridge and see that banana bread sitting there to not take a slice. Great recipes do not come easy though, so let me get you through this list of ingredients that you will need to make this recipe. The first ingredient is going to be protein powder, and I am using PE Science Vanilla. I also think a cinnamon would work quite well with this, but if you have a different flavor that you'd like to try, I'm sure it would work great as well. Next ingredient are going to be the bananas, and you will need 3 bananas in total. Preferably they should be overripe with more brown than yellow, and even these are a little bit too under, but they'll still work good. The next ingredient I got for you is the fat-free milk. Of course, you could substitute it with any milk substitute you'd like. Unsweetened applesauce. Oat flour. Don't worry if you just have oats, you can just blend those up real quick and turn them into oat flour. Baking soda. Baking powder. Vanilla extract. Two whole eggs. And finally, the last ingredient is cinnamon. Before we start mixing this all together, you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Getting into the mixing, we're going to start by mixing in the dry ingredients together first, starting off with the protein powder, adding in 90 grams of that. Next ingredient is going to be the 90 grams of oat flour. I'm now going to add in 4 grams of sweetener. Of course, if you're using a different type of sweetener, just be sure to convert it to, from 4 grams into whatever you're using. I'm now going to sprinkle in 2 grams of the baking soda. And then 6 grams of the baking powder. And the last dry ingredient is just going to be 1 gram of cinnamon. That's going to be it for the dry ingredients, so you can just go ahead and mix it with a whisk until they're all evenly incorporated. It's now time to add the wet ingredients together. Add in 56 grams of milk. Actually, it's just going to be a 5 gram splash of vanilla extract. Scoop out the applesauce, weighing it out to 112 grams. I'm going to follow that up by cracking in my two whole eggs. Last wet ingredient to add is going to be the bananas, but of course you have to smash them out before you add them into the wet ingredients. You don't want a bunch of chunks of bananas in your banana bread. Also one of the reasons why we want these bananas to be ripe or overripe if possible to make it a lot easier to mash and not have clumps of banana inside of the banana bread. I'm going to add in 330 grams worth of banana which is roughly about 3 bananas. If you end up a little short don't worry but if you're over you can just eat whatever remaining banana that is there. Just like I said I'm mashing this banana together and it's very important to take the time and make sure that you do not have any banana clumps in there and for the most part it's pretty liquidy and consistent throughout. This is exactly what I'm talking about right here. This is what the mashed up banana is supposed to look like when you're done. Obviously it's still going to be a little bit clumpy in there. It's not going to be a liquid but it should be liquidy more than a real banana. It's looking something like that you'll be alright. My ingredient going in right now which is that mashed up banana. I'll proceed to mix the wet ingredients together. The tip I would have for here is to be aggressive with your mixing to ensure that the eggs and the yolk get mixed in while also continuing to mash up that banana, ensuring that you will have no banana clumps in your banana bread. In case you're wondering, this is what my wet ingredients look like once I'm done mixing them. 
both the wet and the dry ingredients respectfully mixed. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly incorporate the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients, just doing a slow pour like you see here, and just mixing with the other hand with the whisk. It could be anything too crazy, but you might have some consistency issues if you do mix them all together at once. So is now all done mixing, so I'm going to go ahead and take out a 9x4 loaf pan and just go ahead and coat it with some cooking spray. And I'm now going to pour my dough into the loaf pan. I've now got all my dough in there, so I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the oven for 35 to 40 minutes. And if you're wondering about mine, mine took 38 minutes, but it does vary from oven to oven. It's now been 38 minutes like I said, and I've pulled the banana bread out, and this is what it's looking like right now. Let this cool down for at least 15 minutes before slicing it, and even further than that, I do recommend that you serve this banana bread cold. You can't go wrong with some freshly baked banana bread, so I don't blame you if you slice into it right away. And I did slice into mine myself to make that beautiful bread spread that you see on that plate right now, further enhancing the quality of the thumbnail that made you click on this video. We're now done with the cooking part, and it's now time for the part that you've all been waiting for, giving you the macro breakdown for this banana bread. And I don't want to do this by slice because every slice is going to be a different amount of calories based on the thickness and a variety of other factors. So I'm going to give you the, the macros for this entire loaf, starting off with 83 grams of protein, 169 grams of carbs, only 20 grams of fat, bringing you a total of 1,150 calories for the entire loaf. And it may sound like a lot at face value, but for somebody that eats a lot of food like I do, this loaf is going to be like four to five servings. I'll only be eating like two to three slices every time I eat this. It may look like you could eat the entire loaf in one sitting, but this stuff is really thick and compact. Although most anabolic food is light and fluffy, this is pretty thick and is going to give you energy for a very long time, likely without feeling hungry for a while too, which is part of the reason why I like this so much. It's a great recipe and the only thing left to do right now is to try it out, get all the ingredients together, and bake this banana bread for yourself. If you do decide to do that, let me know how that goes for you in the comment section below. But if you did enjoy this video today, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does support the channel quite a bit. If you do want to support the channel, I will be linking my Patreon down below in the description. There's a variety of different tiers. Give what you can. It's obviously not mandatory. These videos are going to continue to come for free, but there's some great perks based on the tier that you choose. By doing so, you'll also allow me to have more time to create these videos and make more recipes for you guys. That's all I have for you today, though. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.